Hello guys, I got a lot of requests for PvP tips and tricks, so I thought I would make you a PvP guide telling you everything. I'm gonna give you all my tips and tricks. I'm gonna learn you a lot, so after this one you will probably be able to take those 1 versus 3, 1 versus 5 maybe, at least 1 versus 2, because if you use all the things I'm gonna show you, you're gonna get an advantage over most players, because most players don't know all this stuff. First of all, I'm gonna show you off my gear. So you wanna have 4 set piece sentry in the current patch But this is gonna change on Tuesday so At least now 4 set piece sentry with reckless chest and savage gloves are the best one for sure Because the 4 set piece sentry is so overpowered Especially if you use it on a SMG However it's gonna get nerfed on Tuesday At least now it's the best Yeah now we almost have seen all my gear you can see it's not even close to perfect. Like, like I've been super unlucky with all my drops. Like I've done the incursion challenge mode so many times. And now I almost forgot. It's super important to get the armor cap. It's one of the most important things. So try to get armor on your chest and just get it. You can mod armor as well in the mod slot. So get the armor cap. But the best build in my opinion is to get firearms for your talents, like 2600 firearms. You put the rest on stamina and skill power. And a good way to get skill power is to take skill power on your mask and your backpack. Because you get a lot. Of course you will not have the critical hit chance and critical hit damage. But I think the skill power is be much better. Especially if you use pulse you will gain more damage. If you have just 4 set piece of sentry, reckless and savage, then you are set. Yeah, this is my SMG's critical hit damage and critical hit chance, headshot damage. And now I'm gonna check my new shotgun. This is the stats on that one. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with the talents, just to go through everything and I'm gonna explain why I use them and why you should use at least three of those as well in PvP. Combat medic. Use a medic near allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. And this one also affects yourself. So your medkit will heal a lot more. You can heal. If you have one HP bar left, then you will get to full HP. So this is like this is the this is the best talent I think in the game. It's really, it's really good. So always go with combat medic even in PvE. Especially in PvP, it's really good in, a, in you, if you play in a squad as well. Critical save is one of my favorite talents. Use a medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40 for 10 seconds. It's a lot. The thing is with this one, you use a, you need to use a medkit or a self AD. Like every heal works, every heal triggers it. But you have to have less or at least one HP bar left this one only one to trigger it so it's kind of hard to trigger it but when you use a med kit or heal perfectly you will get so rewarded 30 percent damage redu reduction super nice i think that is a must have as well and then on the move kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 30 percent for 10 seconds similar to the critical save but this one is when you kill either NPCs or agents. The thing is with agents though, you need to you can kill them, right? So they are down, but you need to kill them when they are down as well. They need to be dead dead, you know. So you get them down and then you continue to shoot them. With hip fire just running and finish them off and then you will get this one as well. And this one actually stacks with critical save. So if you use your med kit perfectly, so you get critical save or self aid heal. Then you kill someone as well, then you get 70% damage reduction. For 10 seconds. That's almost as good as a link. Like a link is 80% damage re resistance. So it's super good those two in PvP. And the fourth one, if I use a shotgun I use this really good with SMG as well but my SMG jams a lot but this is gonna get fixed in the upcoming DLC so this one will be better but sometimes I use this one because if you mess your medkit up because it's so hard in this up in this DLC so this could be decent as well 
this could work if you play in a squad so you can use your skills a lot more but at least those three should at least use the those and skills i would use overdose and pulse like they, they are the best in my opinion especially if you have skill power if you have a good sticky bomb build then sure do it and here we got a good example of me using critical save and on the move and some other stuff i'm gonna get into more in the video but just look at the critical save combat medic and on the move doing l a lots of work this is live from the stream so i'm just explaining for the viewers so just listen see i used my med kit in the perfect timing so i got uh, critical save so i should actually man up I used it perfect again. And now I got 60% damage reduction. I should be able to Come on, kill Michael, them if I could that? aim. If you actually could aim, I should be able to kill them all. Now I got Link as well, but I didn't really need the Link because I used my skills perfectly. We're gonna talk a little bit about headshot damage. As you know, in all shooting games you will always deal more damage on with a headshot and so is the case in this game as well but beyond that you even got a stat in this game called headshot damage that will improve it much much more so headshots are much more important in this game than in any other game you should always you should always aim for the head doesn't matter always the head doesn't matter if you miss a few shots it's better to aim for the head and the chest so I'm just gonna show you really quick why you should not zoom in your weapon or aim down the sight like this. Because when you do that you move really slow as you can see. He even tries to sidestep. But most of the player that zoom in doesn't do that. It's really easy to hit them. And if you compare it to the hip fire, it's a lot. Like you move a lot faster so it's much easier to sidestep. It's not the best example. But I'm gonna show you a real example of it. As you can see in this video. That they are just standing still and aiming down the sight on me. It's comfortable for them but they will take a lot of damage. It's super easy for me with hit 5 to just hit them when they stand still. And he, they are also taking cover which can be good because my savage club will not work on them. But it, in this case it doesn't matter because like in a sniper battle then you can, you can take cover. So you will not give your opponent a savage critical hit chance. But otherwise it's not that good. Like if they are coming close you need to get out of the cover. Because otherwise we, you will melt like these guys. You should be on the move all the time. Keep firing. See I'm gonna talk a bit how you should play versus more than one player. So I see him here. I got a chance to zoom in my gun and I do it. Because I wanna kill him quickly. Got on fire, use my energy bar. Still only he, he can shoot me because I take cover. Kill him fast because he missed all his bullets. There's still like three guys left. I take cover from two of them, kill one fast. But so I, I always take cover, but I don't use it with space. I just stand behind cover, just zigzagging and shooting them with hip fire, killing him because he's in a bad spot, but I'm in a good spot. Only one left. He's running away, getting him. You can see this in the movement also works pretty well. You just rush them and go really close. Of course, you will not be able every time, but if you can try just to run around them in a circle it would be really hard for them to hit you because it's so hard to hit when you are close see so i'm gonna talk a little bit about self healed abuse and i toss a grenade there try to shock the other guy coming can't see if i actually managed to do it so you're gonna see in this clip I'm gonna abuse the self ideal. Toss a grenade because I know he will go for the rest. I can get them easier. Of course, of course you could just go for kill but you can just toss grenades. Then have time to, to reload and kill them easier like this. Fortunately they had self aid heal with rest so he got the rest instantly. But look here, I'm in a really bad position. Use my medkit perfectly, pulse, self aid heal, go back into the heal, do it again. So I healed three times from the same heal, can do it even more. 
think four or five times actually. Work with free sentry. Then I get wrecked by the stuttering and the explosive bullets. But yeah. You know that guy that produced all the explosive movies? Is it the movie? As you can see in this clip, if you look below my manhunt status, you can see a red circle. And that indicates that I'm pulsed. You can see I will use my pulse here. I'm using the conceal. So that when I use my pulse, it will take the pulse away from me. So they will not get the bonus damage from pulse and they will not see me. And on top of that, I'm immune to pulse for the duration. At least that's what I heard it does. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. You're a good friend at least. So I'm actually gonna go to Dark Zone and try to showcase some grenades. So for example, if you are getting chased here by a, by a guy, you can just run here. Then you just toss a grenade like here. Right there, then he can't see it. So you run like this. You should take up the grenade a bit earlier. You run here, toss it here. Depending on how close he is, of course that wasn't perfect, but you get the idea, idea. because you wanna throw the grenades at corners, you can just do this, and you can look like this, throw it there, and then BAM he's shocked and for flash and you just fuck him up. And as well if you are getting chased, okay, you, you just toss it like this, if, if they are close. Still getting chased here. Just toss a grenade here. Fuck, fuck them up. And especially in the subway, in the stairs, it's super nice. You wanna Just wanna him? give you a little tips about racing teammates. If you play in a squad. You can see that I will die here. Yeah, and then you can so try to just cover your, your friend. And you should try to move, move as well. Just try to move behind your friend or something, so you can't get finished. Usually it works a lot of time, especially if you have oh teammates that can stand and just block. As you saw there, I actually managed to block the first hit, the first hit but then he unfortunately died anyway. But if you had more teammates there, one could be resting and the other one just blocking the hit. Like when the game I think that's speed. everything guys, hopefully you learned something new at least. If you got any PvP question, just comment on the video and I will gladly answer it. If you like the video or learned anything from the video, please just take a few seconds and share this to your division friends. And you will be a better squad as well. <laughs> so it's a win-win for us all, right? Because it actually took a lot of time for me to make this video. I needed to find a lot of old clips and make all the points and stuff. I enjoyed making the video. I know that people actually wonder like how can I be so tanky? How do I do in a PvP? And I think this one covers almost everything. Hopefully everything. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. See ya. Wanted to get on the move but I couldn't. Got it now though. So I'm super tanky. Up YouTube.